Hello, Angel here, and today would have been Melville Dewey's 165th birthday, and we honor him with National Dewey Decimal System Day. You might be thinking, Dewey Decimal System? That sounds familiar. Doesn't that have something to do with books in the library? And you're right, it does. You probably learned about the Dewey Decimal System in elementary school. But up until Melville, each library was a little bit different. There were a lot of different systems in place for logging books where they were, but the most common one in the United States was called fixed position. This is where each book had a spot where it was always at based on its height and when it was acquired by the library. Melville Dewey was born in New York. He attended Amherst College, where he received his undergraduate degree in 1874 and his master's in 1877. While working on his master's, he also worked in the school's library, and that is where he developed his new system, which was first published in the United States in 1876. He was only 21 years old at the time. Melville had friends, but by most accounts, he was a really difficult person to get along with. His system, however, was highly influential and remains so to today, where it is still in use in 135 countries. However, in America, most large academic libraries have transitioned to the Library of Congress system. The Library of Congress system was first developed in the late 19th and early 20th century at the Library of Congress. The thing that's different between the two systems is that the Dewey Decimal System is numerical. I bought this book, but it's okay because it was taken out of circulation by a library. And you can see here that it has a Dewey Decimal number on it. The nine indicates that it's a history book and all history books start with the number nine. That is the system that you probably learned about in elementary school. The Library of Congress system is alphanumerical. In history books, there must be a lot of them because they go from C to F in the alphabet. Throughout the 20th century, the Library of Congress's system has been adopted and has become one of the largest systems in use in the world. Both the Dewey Decimal System and the Library of Congress system are living, breathing systems. They are routinely updated to allow for new publications. Melville died the day after Christmas in 1931, and he was entered into the Library Association Hall of Fame in 1951. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave comments in the comment section below. I'll see you tomorrow. Library of Congresses. It just sounds wrong.